Part one of our series is door hangers. Who likes door hangers? Not many people. When I first started my business, I did door hangers. I didn't have the money to have a marketer. I went door to door as if it's a permission slip. It's not the door hanger itself that works for you. So if you have a business and you're trying to get the word out, you can't pay somebody to put the door hangers up and hopefully people call you. What you want to do is you want to put the door hangers up, but use it as a permission slip. So if you see somebody outside, the best time to do this will be after hours because people are home, they're relaxing, they may be staying outside. Use that, give them the door hanger. They'll talk to you because you have the door hanger. And because of that, you can strike a conversation. You can have common interests, common ground with that person. And if this is not a time for you to sell yourself, this is a time to build a relationship with that person. You give them the door hanger, you tell them briefly what you do, and you start striking up common ground. Oh, I see you like this sports team. Oh, I see you like this. And oh man, it's hot outside. And then the conversation starts flowing. Next thing you know, people will say, you know what? I like that person. I want to refer that person. In my scenario, I did auto accidents. I owned a doctor's office before I became an attorney. And by the time I was done, I said, hey, do you know anybody that's been in a car accident? I get in the door and we have a conversation. We joked about things. After a while, you become friends with these people. And then those individuals say, you know what? My cousin was in a car accident. My brother's sister was in a car accident. Next thing you know, you're getting leads from everywhere. So do not discount the grassroots marketing for your success of your business.